Hi everyone, welcome back to Undo Media. Today I'll show you how to create this super clean cinematic title animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is one of the easiest title reveals in the book, but also one of the most popular. It's a clean, simple, minimalist effect, and that very simplicity is what makes it so polished and professional looking. And it's extremely versatile. With a little finessing, you can make this text animation look awesome with virtually any footage. This effect will obviously work just as well with one line of text, but for this tutorial, I'll show you the best way to add a subtitle. And if you stick around till the end of this video, I'll share a couple quick ways to fine tune this animation and really make it slick. Okay, first things first, let's create a new sequence. Go to New Item and select Sequence, or just hit Command N on your keyboard. I'm on a Mac. Control N if you're working on a PC. You can pick whatever settings work best for your footage. I'm going to use a custom preset I've got saved here. I'll name this sequence Premiere Pro Cinematic Title. Click OK or just hit Enter, and we'll start by adding our first line of text. You can select the Type tool from the Tools panel or just hit T on your keyboard. Then click anywhere in the program monitor and start typing. And just for fun, I'm going to type out holy moly, and bear with me, I'm going somewhere with this, it'll make sense shortly. Next, we're going to format our text in the Essential Graphics panel. And if you don't already have this panel open, you can just go up to Window, check Essential Graphics, and make sure you're on the Edit tab. Now, you can use any font you like for your titles. But for this particular text effect, I prefer a nice, clean, geometric typeface with a good selection of font weights. So fonts like Metropolis, Montserrat, Gotham, or Proxima Nova that include a range of light to heavy weights are all great choices. And if you're wondering where to find these fonts or get other typeface ideas, I've got a whole series of free cinematic font videos with download links and everything. And I'll share links to those videos in the description below. For this video, I'm going to go with Metropolis Extra Bold for my main title. I'll set the font size to 160. Keep in mind, this is a 4K sequence. Your values may be different depending on your video resolution and just how big or small you want your titles. I'll make this all caps. And to make this look a little more dramatic, I'm going to increase the space between characters, otherwise known as tracking. You can do this by dragging left or right on the tracking control, or just by entering a number here. So I'm going to set this to 340. I'll center align the text, and then under Align and Transform, I'll center my text in the frame by clicking these two icons for Vertical and Horizontal Center. So we've got our main title. Now we'll add a subtitle. I'll duplicate the first clip by dragging it up one track while holding down the Option key, or Alt, if you're on a PC. We'll move this copy down a bit for the moment. We're going to use it to create our subtitle. Drop the font size down to half that of the main title, so 80 in this case. Change the font weight to thin or light or regular, whatever works for you. Edit the text. What an awesome tutorial. See? Makes sense now? Holy moly! What an awesome tutorial. I'll pause a moment for you to like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. And welcome back. All right, quick typography tip. With the smaller font size and lighter weight on this subtitle, I like to increase the tracking a bit. It balances with the spacing of the main title a little better. Let's recenter that horizontally again. We'll move this back up a little, move the main title up a little so everything's centered in the frame. And now I've got a nice clean title and subtitle set up here. And yes, I could have created both lines of text on just one clip, but having these on separate tracks gives me a little more flexibility when it comes to the animation. Okay, so let's increase the duration of these two clips. You can make your title animation as short or long as you like. I'm going to go with 12 seconds for a really slow, epic, cinematic reveal. And I'm going to hide the subtitle for now. You don't have to do this, but it'll make this next bit a little easier to follow. We're going to animate our title in three simple steps. First, we're going to fade it in and out. With the main title clip selected, we'll go over to the Effect Controls panel and click the stopwatch beside opacity to set a keyframe at 100% opacity. 
We'll drag that keyframe forward a few seconds to about here, then click on this little diamond button to add another 100% opacity keyframe and drag that one to here. And finally, we'll create two keyframes at 0% opacity and position those at the beginning and end of our clip. So now we have a nice slow fade in and out going on here. For the second step, we're going to add a little blur to our animation. So we'll go to the effects panel and search for the Gaussian Blur effect, which can be found in Video Effects, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. Now to apply this effect, we could drag and drop it onto our clip in the timeline. But with that clip already selected, the quickest way is to just double click the effect. And then we'll head back up to the effect controls panel and click that stopwatch again beside blurriness to enable keyframes for this effect. We're going to line that keyframe up with our first 100% opacity keyframe. Then add another keyframe and line that one up with our second 100% opacity keyframe. And then we'll create two more keyframes where we set the blurriness to 200 and place those at the beginning and end of our clip. And now our text has that nice little blur in and out to go with the opacity changes. All right, so in the last step of this animation, we're going to set up a couple scale keyframes. So the text will appear to move toward us over time. We'll go over to Vector Motion, click the stopwatch beside Scale, then drag that to the end. And then add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip with a value of, say, 85%. So now we've got a main title that starts out kind of smoky or wispy as it fades in, slowly increases in scale as the animation progresses, and then disappears back out. And now all we need to do is copy those effects to our second line of text. I'll unhide this track, right-click on the first clip, hit Copy, right-click on the second clip, and select Paste Attributes. And if you've never used this, you can actually select specific attributes or effects to copy and paste from one clip to another. But in our case, pasting them all is just fine, so I'll leave things as they are and click OK. And voila, now we have our scale, opacity, and blur keyframes copied over to this clip as well. And if you want both lines of text to fade in and out simultaneously, you can just leave this all as is. But in the examples I showed in the intro to this video, I brought the subtitles in a few seconds after the main title. And if you want to do the same, and here's where having our text on separate tracks comes in handy. All you have to do is lasso the first two keyframes of both the Gaussian blur effect and opacity, and move them forward to where you want that second line to begin fading in. And leaving the scale keyframes as is will ensure that both lines of text scale up at the same rate, even though they come in a little staggered. Okay, before you go, I've got two quick tips for you. First tip. In your text opacity settings, you might want to experiment with different blend modes. I find that the screen or dodge blend modes often make the animation of the blur look a little more natural and organic than the normal blend mode. This is all personal preference, of course, and it will depend largely on the color composition of your footage. Tip number two. Don't be afraid to try out different text colors. You'll pretty much never miss with white titles. But sometimes colored text, particularly when combined with different blend modes, can produce some really striking and unique results. Then all you have to do is add some background music or sound effects, and you too can produce ovation-worthy cinematic titles like this.